We showed you some stuff at my house on the burning Lopi Endeavor. Now we're gonna show you the cutaway from the inside out. The nice thing about this cutaway is it shows you the stainless steel tubes that we talked about and you saw where the secondary combustion was happening on the inside. Um, so you could actually see how the cutaway, you can see the stainless, you can see the thickness of the metal, you can see the retainer that holds that fire brick baffle in place. Now remember, we got the heaviest duty baffle that's out in the industry. By using the angle iron and the brick to hold everything in place, you get a long, trouble-free life out of that baffle. The baffle here is made out of the fire brick. The fire brick has radiant mass to it. Not only does it protect the steel from erosion, it actually holds the heat inside the firebox, so it elevates that burn temperature inside, so we get a very complete secondary combustion. As you saw at my house, when we engaged that air control, as we shut down the primary air, that secondary air started reburning all that smoke and gases before it would go up the chimney. That's aided by the temperature of this brick. And again, that brick lasts the life of the stove. The cutaway gives us the advantage that we can see what the bypass damper is doing inside the stove. Now in all stoves, the fire burns here, flames come forward towards the door, up over the top, past this baffle here, and back to the back of the stove. Now when it goes to the back of the stove, when it makes this loop and goes to the back of the stove, remember when we open up the door, path the least resistance. So if I've got this big opening here or just this small opening for my smoke to go up here, sometimes the smoke likes to drift out into the room on a typical stove. On the Lopi Endeavor, I open up the handle back here. What that handle does is it allows the smoke to go up. You can see my hand here in the back. It allows the smoke and the air to all come into the front of the firebox and up the chimney. Because remember, the chimney's hot, so we're pulling that air up, so we're giving it a better path to go rather than coming forward forward towards that open door. This is half inch plate. This is all removable from inside the stove and replaceable from inside the stove. This is all covered under the seven year replacement warranty. So they're all replaceable from inside the stove without any tools, without any cutting torches, without a sawzall or anything like that. All these components lift out and are removable from the inside of the stove. Now we keep parts going back to 1982 on the shelf for replacement and repair work on original low pie stoves that are out in the field. So we're one of the few manufacturers that has the components ready to go to take care of you if you ever have a part wear out inside the stove. We did the demonstration with the little incense at home where we showed the air going in through the bottom and the hot air coming out through the top. Well now you can see the full volume of convection air that's being heated up here. Now remember, this heats like a chimney. As that air gets heated, it pulls more cold air into the bottom and it lets that air out through the top up here. So we get that constant airflow moving around the stove to get a more comfortable temperature in your room by bringing the cold air in and pushing that warm air out. The advantage of having the cutaway here is that we can also see the gauge of steel. The red here in the top, this is your 516 steel. This is where the heaviest plate is used inside the stove. We also use, and the blue here that's highlighted, this is your 3 16 on your unibody construction. So the face and sides of the stove are one piece of material with no seams. The yellow is your shielding that's added to the outside of the stove that stops the radiant heat from going off to your side objects in your room or if you're putting it into a corner off to the side walls. So this allows you to get closer clearances. That heat is still allowed to escape up here at the top. The standard shield in the back of the stove is what gets us four and a quarter inches away from the wall. The air wash here is cut away. What we've got is one tube that comes up on the left side and there's a tube right here you can see here on the right side. The air that comes in through the air control goes to the left and the right, gets pulled up, and comes into this perforated screened area up here. Remember, the screened area is what diffuses that air evenly across the entire surface of glass. So all that air is being preheated as it's drawn up these two side tubes. The preheated air is really the key to it. Air flow itself, if it was just room temperature air, wouldn't be as effective at keeping the glass clean. It's the preheated air that helps that glass stay really clean. That air comes down across the glass, then into the fire as primary combustion air. So it's always fresh preheated air going across that glass. That's what keeps a barrier between the glass and that fire, and it also keeps that glass hot, which is what's gonna keep it clean. Works really well. When we cut away a door here, you can really see the thickness of the casting. The casting is either done with a pewter, a black, or a solid brass. So you can do it either way as far as what the decor is in your home. Seeing the retainer on the inside, which is actually the door frame, you can see how thick that is and how much it actually goes down inside the door. This again is what protects this glass gasketing on the inside from direct flame contact. So it really keeps that glass gasketing protected so it doesn't require maintenance as often as some of the other models out in the field. 
We also, you can see on the inside here, on the hinge system, when we take this out, we take this door off, you'll be able to see how thick these bridge rivets are. They're a 5 8 thick bridge rivet. So again, it's part of that over-engineered door system that's gonna give you years of trouble-free life. Lopi stoves use a five millimeter Neo-Ceram glass. Neo-Ceram glass is designed to be on stoves. You can have a blowtorch on one side, you could have a cold water hose on the other side and it won't break from thermal shock.